It's a hostile takeover. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 608 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, the Outsiders. Two men who would lay the groundwork for what would eventually become the New World Order. One massive defection to WCW by Scott Hall and Kevin Nash completely changed the direction of the Monday Night Wars. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 438 pounds, Dolph Ziggler and Austin Theory! The feeling, the electricity in the arena unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. And in this tag team bout, it's going to be Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. The ring we see Dolph Ziggler and Austin Theory. These teams have scouted each other very well. They probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Two handed shot. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing at the face. Tagged into the action. The small of the back. Oh! He gets set down to the floor. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Side headlock applied. Oh, a good Watch. measure. Kick to the gut. What's next? All the way out. Crucifix. Oh boy. Oh boy. Two. The top of the DDT. Three. No. Oh, let him break his arm. Vicious. Four. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. He's 
lost some of his win now. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. time the standard the blueprint one of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division period the following contest is scheduled for one fall making her way to the ring from boston massachusetts Sasha Banks! A Grand Slam champion at WWE has won the Raw, SmackDown, and NXT women's titles as well as the women's tag team titles. <laughs> How about the time she competed in the main event of WrestleMania against Bianca Belair? B.I.C. Head batty in charge. And Mia is always ready for a fight. And from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two May Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. <laughs> Sasha Banks is a competitor so sure of herself and her abilities that she's taken to calling herself the blueprint. A reference to her being the standard by which all other superstars must measure themselves. I have other app Nick. Here it comes, guys. Look at this. Oh, my. Boston Crab now. Think about all the pain she's in right now. She's trying desperately to make it to the bottom rope and maybe. And uh, finally breaks it. She's lucky she got all the time. Attacking the knee. Picked oh. up, back, suplex, and here's an early cover. One, two, gets the shoulder up before three. Almost could have been a flash finish there. And she's able to fight Mia off. Oh. Mia Yim has earned some big wins in WWE, but tonight is the chance to earn another major victory. Corey, how does she go about doing that? She needs to keep her trademark toughness up. This is a woman who suffered a broken nose and fractured ribs in a match, but still kept going. That fighting spirit is key here tonight. To the sky! <laughs> ah, trampling the opposition. Uh. Nightmare! Get right in the spine! Oh. And 
Mia's HBIC moniker got tested a bit there. Yeah, talk about a blueprint. Banks just showed how it's done. Taking four. Mia evades that. She can do it here. She was close to the end there. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Knee lift to the body. Nice. The clock showing wherewithal. Vicious kick, Sasha striking right to the kidney. Oh, God. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, she returns the favor there. Oh, no, there could be trouble lurking for her with this submission maneuver. Oh, the body's not meant to be stretched that way. This is not where the butt. Oh, serious peril. No, she counters. And here's Banks and flying into a rough landing. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. to the ribs. Ooh. Crushing the knee there. Three. That shoulder targeted there. Four. Five. She goes back inside the ropes. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. She's taking things to ringside. Oh, soon we could be seeing a submission here. Guillotine! It's in deep. Well, this one utilizing her power, hoping to escape, and that'll do it. Tamina is a scary woman. The 
following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! That is a scary human being. She certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one. And here comes Natalya. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalya. A third generation star who at times has carried the women's division on her shoulders. Uh, to that point, Natalya has won more matches than any other woman in WWE history. who has taken a considering and calling herself the boat. That's the best of all time. Natalia is definitely an exceptional talent, Michael, with an exceptional pedigree, hailing from the legendary Hart family. But I don't know about all this boat business. You have to admit, though, she has fair claim to being one of the pillars of WWE's women's division, and she likes to remind everyone of that fact. And then there's Tamina. You know, a popular song once said, I'm only happy when it rains. Well, Tamina's only happy when there's pain. Pain that she's inflicting upon her opponent. Ooh, man, right hand. These women alone by one another. Such a physical matchup. And that'll drive her out of the ring and uh, you're attempting to leave in a cowardly manner, but yeah. you're not going anywhere. Set right back into the ring. First with a waist lock takedown. And setting him up to the knee to the hands. That's gonna hurt. Come oh, on, that'll turn your skin red. She sent flying into the corner. Grit your teeth. Oh, hanging on for dear life. Oh, you powerbomb. That might be it. She probably didn't expect it to put her away there, but she's put her on notice. Natalia is so proficient in submission maneuvers. Look at her go! Her opponent has to be in agony. That's Natalia showing just how exceptional of an in-ring talent she is. She doesn't call herself the bo- She is desperate to get out of this submission some way, somehow. This is Natalia's wheelhouse. The Hart family legacy lives on. is the worst case scenario. And she lets her free. Quickly, the cover!
Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. Here comes Mickey James. And from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! A six-time champion. You have Charlotte Flair here, a talent who eats, sleeps, and breathes this business and does nothing but train endlessly. Now you would think with all that training on the top of her inherent abilities and natural athleticism that Charlotte wouldn't have to rely on bullying tactics and mind games and up high. Diving seated senton. Absolutely incredible. Punishing boot. She's looking at it early. Was far more effective than I think anyone could have expected. Well scouted by Charlotte. Charlotte loves to slow a match down to a pace that suits her and her game plan. Would you agree, Corey, that the key to taking Charlotte down would be to refuse to work her pace? Absolutely, Corey. You keep a faster pace, you keep up your chance at disorienting Charlotte, or better yet, having her make a grave mistake while attempting to keep up. Ah, uh, Charlotte, so impressive, so powerful. Backpack stutter! Three! Mickey gets out of the way. DDT spiked. Four! Oh, DDT. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. German suplex. And set him up. Oh, the knee to the face. That's gonna hurt. Oh, stomping away. Strikes with a kick. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. The Queen's setting up. Ah, oh, the knee right to the face. Ooh, that might have just broken something. And the veteran Mickey perhaps struggling to keep up there. And you have to admit, all that training Charlotte puts in paid dividends there. Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. Yeah, now, and will this be it? Oh, somehow. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Charlotte Flair proving that her superiority complex is well-deserved. Proving that Saxton's a geek who talks about mind games and shortcuts, even when proof... Oh, Charlotte Flair! Can she bridge into the figure eight? You feel like hope is starting to fade away right now. She might be just moments away from tapping out. They're trying desperately to find a way out of the figure eight. Successfully so. 
Oh. Yeah, but the damage has been done. Ah, oh, look at this. Neck slam. Looking bad for her here. Rolling neck snap. Mickey James showing everyone exactly how it's done there. Veteran, what's Mickey thinking here? Mickey might have just finished things. Two. And that does it. Mickey James captures the win. Here is your winner, Mickey James. Sharon's the W against fierce competition. If this outcome becomes a pattern for Charlotte, her future's going to look very, very bleak. I don't think that's going to be the case, Corey. You don't get paid to think. Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. And his opponent, accompanied by Murphy from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! A multiple time WWE champion and countless other singles and tag team titles, in addition to money in the bank and winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but Saxton, now Rollins has a much higher yeah. calling, an even greater purpose. Well, that's what he would yeah. have you believe. I think it's all just a ruse to sneak his way into the main event, personally. face-off we have in the ring. There's loathing someone, and then there's what Mysterio and Rollins have. They detest each other, Cole. That's the word you're looking for. I don't know why. Rollins was just trying to make Ray a better man. Yeah. Really, Corey? You don't know why Ray would be hostile to himself? Rollins is looking out for the greater good, Saxton. Mysterio was only looking out for his family. Rollins from up high. Look out! As far as speed and offensive ability goes, I'd say Mysterio and Rollins are pretty evenly matched, Corey. Ability-wise, maybe, but Rey Mysterio has significantly more experience. I expect he'll lean on that against Rollins. Schoolboy. Uh-oh. Oh, super kick! And Zagiri finds its mark. He's looking a little off balance. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Jumping knee right to the face. Oh, man. That kick will stop you in your tracks. The revolution knee finds the mark. And out of the ring he goes. A slingshot into it. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. 
Now that was a harebrained idea to try that. Great trouble here. Can he get it through like this? It's one. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Three. And he very quickly counters. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Whoa. Good technique reversing Rollins. Two. and one of the most dangerous superstars you will ever see. That's why I love everything about this guy, Saxton. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. Career decorated with championship gold. 
But despite that success, you could also say Randy Orton has carried himself as a very entitled and selfish superstar. Or you can look at the reality that Randy Orton worked hard and earned every bit of it. JBL would say if you were to build the sports entertainer from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Randy's a picture of longevity as well. The frightening thing is the Viper's more dangerous today than he's ever been. A surefire Hall of Famer if there ever was one. And then you have Finn Balor, who's not exactly a go-with-things-halfway kind of guy, which normally can have its own unnecessarily disastrous results, but in Balor's case, it's the style that brings him success. It's exactly what makes him such a dangerous competitor. Think of Bauer as a heat-seeking missile that just refuses to miss. Elbow drop, producing a trampling. From the top, and nobody's there. pick up the pace in a match like this. Corey, will that benefit him here tonight? Uh, it's been a benefit his whole career. Why stop now? If Balor can actually succeed in picking up the pace and controlling it the way he wants, I don't see why not. Yeah. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let it. Saving us from having to sit through that. Hoist it up into the snap suplex. Punch connects. Golly, that sounded rough. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, what a kick. And the DDT. Nothing fancy, but very effective. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Four. Oh. Five. The 
adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Seven. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Eight. Punch lands. What grace. Float over to DDT. Fight. Oh, and Randy Orton has been busted open. DDT. Balor makes the climb. Perched up top. Right in the mouth, oh, relentless. Oh, enough already. Ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. Power bomb! And Balor's being picked apart now. And Orton's turned the match in his favor. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Sling blade by Finn Balor. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Seconds left. All right, sliding back in. Oh, Finn Balor. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. And he fights it off. He just won't give up. Going up top. This is where Finn Balor's at home. There's the swing blade. Basement drop kick. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Here it comes. Randy Orton in a bad way. Is it enough? The cover. And he's still in the game. That was amazing. Orton is still in this. The Viper still has a lot of fight left in him. And you have to ask, will Pal remain undaunted towards the task at hand? Orton hoping to start a rush of his own now. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? We might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. This could be it. Cover for the win. One, two, three. And gets the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, the Viper. celebration after a match like that. They're a club for losers Finn Balor can join after that performance. Yeah, the Sax Club.
is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angel Garza from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. When you look at Humberto Carrillo, you see a man who has all the skill, but some would say. to prepare for. Yeah, Keith Lee makes it easy when he lights opponents up or sending them through the mat. shown limitless potential here in WWE. He's risen every challenge, seized every opportunity, and left an impressive mark on this industry in a relatively short period of time. No doubt he looks to continue his ascent here tonight. But tonight he's going up against the impressive Umberto Carrillo, well known for his cat-like agility. Yeah, and Carrillo possesses some surprising strength as well. Umberto is so well known for his lucha style, people often forget how well-rounded of a superstar he really is. From the top! Oh, oh, piercing elbow. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Umberto Carrillo is a tremendous athlete who can match up against any opponent. What does Carrillo have to focus on to add another one to the win column? Umberto Carrillo possesses quite the array of offense, but at times his precision with that offense Oh, and the brawl is underway, rights and lefts, being exchanged. And this superstar trying to get away, trying to retreat, wants nothing to do with this matchup. Looks like this superstar is trying to take a minute to replan their game. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a game plan. Either way, here comes another superstar throwing them back into the ring. Set in, set up. Oh no! Power ball! Into the pin attempt. And he manages to kick out in one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Had an answer for Lee. He's been placed in the corner now. From the second row. Enziguri. Oh, and will this be it? One, two. And he powers out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. The rings of Saturn apply. Oh. Korea looking for the submission. Rings of Saturn applied. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All oh, the heart. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Whack! Oh, oh God! Set up powerbomb! Keith Lee's opponent getting treated to a taste of Lee's limitless power. I can't imagine what it's like to be on the receiving end of that. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Roberto gets the better there. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Counters that. Boom. Here he goes. 
for the win. One, two. Oh, and he kicked out at two. This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. Keith Lee, look out. Oh, zero. Lee on the verge here. That's got to be it. Two. And what a win for Keith Lee. Here is your winner, Keith Lee. And nothing to scoff at with that win, gentlemen. They got it done. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter.